Hey guys, I'm going to show you the tracker we have been working on. Everything is pretty much finished in the backend. It needs some work in the frontend as you see, but I want this to be very user friendly and simple so you can track everything so easily. In this video, I'm going to create a tracker from scratch. It's pretty easy. I'm going to show you how it works. Let's go ahead and find the trending collection. So I think this would be the best example here as it is trending the most, it will have the most events. Uh, by events I mean sales and listings. So let's go ahead and find it. Bitcoin presents this one. Next I'm going to go to the filters site. Here you can actually adjust it to your liking. I'm not going to go into details but what you can do here is you can track certain trades so when nfts with a certain trade gets listed you get a notification or you can track some certain ranks uh, for instance nfts which are under rank let's say 150 if they get listed you get a notification or uh, you also can combine it with the floor percentage you can say that i'm interested in these trades or in these rankings but only up to 150 50% of the floor. In this video though, I'm just going to create the notification alerts regardless of the rank or trades. So this would be a suitable collection. So I'm just going to call this Bitcoin Tracker. Then I'm going to the next section. Here for now you can add your alerts to Discord or to Telegram. Uh, I will just create a Discord server and connect my bot there. So let's go ahead and authorize. Uh, actually, let's create a Discord channel first. A new one. And this one I am going to call uh, Tunas DC Tracker. Let's create this one. Now I'm going back to the tracker. Here I'm going to click on the authorize button. I'm going to add the bot to my server. So here it's Tunas DC Tracker. Continue. I'm going to authorize it. And I'm going to solve a puzzle containing a bunny. Is this a bunny? No, it's a hamster. Bunny. Uh, bunny. I think these two are bunny. All right. As you see, the bot joined my server here. All right, now let's go back and uh, actually create a channel here. So here I'm going to create a channel and it's going to be called git. What was it called? Git something. I really forget its name. Bitcoin. Bitcoin tracker. All right, now I will have to add my bot to this channel. So I will go back and here I am going to click on add channel button. There is an authentication code here. So what this does is when you paste this code in a certain channel, the bot automatically joins that channel. What we did is first we added the bot to the server. Now we are adding it to the channel. Now this bot is active in this channel. Now I'm going to hit the refresh button and I'm going to click on Bitcoin Tracker and I'm going to create the bot here in this channel. All right, it's done. It's this simple. And now the bot will start sending the event feed to this channel. All right, now the event started coming in as you see. So you can adjust this. This is basically reporting everything now. Every listing, every sale, whatever happens. So you, obviously you can adjust them. So you can only pick the sales or you can only report the listings with some certain criteria, as I mentioned, according to the ranking price or trades or whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to show you the wallet tracker as well, since we are on it. So let's create a, actually, you know what, let me delete this channel because there are so many events going on, but you, I think you saw the idea of how it works. So I'm just going to delete this one. Uh, I'm going to show you how the wallet tracker works as well. So here, basically you paste any wallet you want to track. Then here, if you want, you can track certain event types. In basically means transactions coming in, out means when that person sends something or transactions out. Uh, here you can pick the transaction type. If you are only interested in NFTs, you can pick the NFTs or if you are uh, watching the other kind of transactions, you can pick 
token transfers, internal transactions, or basically you can pick all. Uh, and then you can basically create a wallet node and then create a tracker. You can pick the same channel for all the alerts or you can group them. For instance, we might want to track some certain wallets in some certain channels or some certain listings and collections. In some it's up to you how you combine them and manage them. But basically, this is the idea. As I mentioned, it's working in the backend. We have to do the fine tuning and we have to create the front end. I actually had shared how it will look like in the Discord. We are working on a pretty slick and nice design. So probably in a couple of weeks, you will be able to use this. And as I had mentioned earlier, it's going to be a utility of the Mashboomers collection.